Hi, Libra. Welcome. So, Libra, this is going to be your You Versus Them Tarot reading, and we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. Since it's a general reading, the roles may be reversed. Feel free to flip it if you need to. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and woo, let's go ahead and get started as we have a card out. So, the overall shared energy is the moon, Cancerian Pisces energy here for some of you. This is talking about your instincts, following your gut instincts, following your intuition. Also, it talks about, interestingly enough, literally the gut, um, <laughs> your comfort, digestion, food. Uh, it has like a comforting or like a comfort zone type of energy to it. And as we go into the fall months, some of you might certainly be wanting more comfort zoning in your life, right? Um, also, happy birthday to any of my Libras as we're now in Libra season. And certainly you all deserve to feel comfortable and blessed during your birthday season. But this also talks about the home, the family, privacy, wanting your privacy, keeping your emotions private, etc. So that is the shared energy that's uh, over the connection. Now, your crowning energy is the five of swords. So you could have been dealing with a lot of mental exhaustion, Libra, going through some big emotional upheavals or changes, particularly during September, which was a really rough month for a lot of us. I mean, that's uh, not often. <laughs> if ever, we have that many planets in retrograde at once. Um, and it was a doozy, right? So it could have left you feeling completely drained, exhausted. Some of you could have had endings or losses during that time frame. And now kind of using this first part of October to get in sync with yourself again, to get comfortable again, to get in touch with your yourself again, all right? Because I keep hearing out of touch. Some of you may have been feeling a little bit out of touch, or it could be also that you've been out of touch with this person that you're connecting with, but take it as it resonates. Person you're connecting with is in the Four of Swords. So it's a slight improvement from what you're feeling, Libra, but not too, too different, right? So I feel like you and this person might have been feeling like common things or have been maybe in a similar mood or energy leading up into the now. This for them is talking though about rest and healing and it's a restorative vibe. So this person might be in the process of restoring themselves or wanting to restore something Um that's that's meaningful to them, right? Um, or restore something within the connection, okay? So, let's see, Libra, what, um, what led up to the now. We're going to look at the past energy. Then we're going to look at how you perceive each other, how you both genuinely feel underneath it all, and then the bigger spiritual picture. So, Libra. Recent past energy for my Libras. Ooh. Eight of Cups. The Lovers. You know, it's interesting. I'm going to talk to you about this in a minute. The Six of Swords. <laughs> But it's in the reverse. Let me get one more card. Yeah. The Nine of Swords. I was getting like flashbacks in my mind of things that are personal to me. But y'all know I'm a Libra moon um, and a Libra rising. So um, you might be getting like flashbacks or especially during nighttime, during your dream uh, state or when you initially wake up, you might be getting like flash images or downloads so pay attention uh libra and i almost said gemini some of you are connecting with the gemini or have that in your chart but <clears throat> i i just definitely got this message around flashbacks okay for whatever reason and if it's not your energy you could be connecting with someone who's having that type of energy around them all right and it seems to be impacting them emotionally okay so you have the Eight of Cups here, the Lovers, the Six of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. There's a sense of like feeling like you're going in circles, right? Like feeling like you're making progress, you're 
moving forward and then kind of coming back around to the same thing or to the same energy. And I feel like a lot of us felt like we were chasing our tails during the retrograde. So you're definitely not alone in that energy, Libra. And it really could have been you know, tapping into your psyche, right? Like really affecting you mentally and therefore emotionally as you have the nine of swords here and the six of swords in reverse is like having trouble finding the solution, having trouble moving past something, right? Um, and I feel like this is definitely to uh, deal with a very significant connection to you. Some of you, it may be the person that you're connecting with, but it could really be anyone in your life that has seemed to have a big impact on you emotionally, okay? Um, there's a sense of like, also something from the past coming back around, um, a repeated pattern or memories, or again, flashbacks. Some of you getting flashbacks, okay? So let's see the person you're connecting with. What is their recent past energy? Ten of Wands. Whoa! Eight of Cups, the Queen of Swords. It's been really difficult for this person to move past something, by the way. Um, I feel like both of you, again, in the same or similar energy are kind of going through like a, the same thing. Like, I feel like this person may have had a lot weighing on them, may have tried to like leave it behind to get some clarity, but then kept coming back around to it. Um, I do feel like this person has recently made some sort of progression though and is moving towards this more restorative healing type of vibe and starting to feel a little bit more like themselves again, starting to feel a little bit more freedom, a little bit more optimism in their energy where I still feel like Libra, some of you are still kind of in like a fog, like you still may have some residual um things to deal with. Okay. So I feel like this person, I don't want to say they're farther along than you. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying energetically speaking, they're feeling that lift a little bit sooner than you're feeling it. Um, and a part of the reason is Libra is this perpetual need to go back and relive something or relitigate something or question yourself or question a prior decision. And it's so funny because I was a literally literally talking about this to one of my friends who is also a psychic and um we were talking about libra moon sun rising problems <laughs> um because you know those of us that have heavy libra placements and i'm one of them we tend to um we see all sides, which is what makes us great moder moderators. It, it makes us great at balancing out situations, our ability to weigh out pros and cons and all of that, to utilize the scales, right? But it works in our detriment when we overdo it and then we start to question ourselves or try too hard to be on both sides when you can't, right? Like it causes doubt within the Libra energy when we go overboard with that. And it's almost a sense of like needing Libra to just resolve yourself, make up your mind and line up with whatever decision you've made. So some of you are questioning like a decision and was that best or should I go back or, you know, like there's doubt around that. And the message is, it doesn't matter. The decision's been made. You know what I mean? Like it's what's done is done. You're here now and your only choice is to line up with it because if you don't line up with it, you're not going to feel good. And if you don't feel good, you can't, you cannot manifest an improvement. And if you can't manifest an improvement, then you're going to continue to circle the drain, right? So how do you get out of that energy? Decide right now, today, I'm sticking to what my decision was and I'm lining up with it and I'm moving forward. I'm lining up with my life as it is in this moment and I'm moving forward. Just line up with the decision. There's no right or wrong. It's the only thing that is creating the imbalance, Libra, is the back and forth. Is this making sense? I hope so. I don't mean to be hard on you, but this is a speech I had to give myself as well. 
<laughs> you know. All right, so you have temperance, seven of swords uh, showing up in your perception. Ten of pentacles. Woo! The magician and the chariot in the current energy. This is showing up in your perception. So I feel like, yeah, this is a lot of beautiful energy here. I keep hearing it's all good. Okay, so it's all good, Libra. Um there is still this little bit of back and forth that's creating some mood fluctuations, maybe irritability, impatience, okay? Feeling a bit impatient, um, therefore maybe coming off a little bit defensive, be careful about that. Um, but right behind that is this greater sense of security and stability and you lining up with your decisions, which is what I felt before the cards even came out. So. Um, let this pass. I feel like this energy is going to pass relatively quick, okay, over these next few days. And you're going to feel a little bit more clarity come in and a little bit more certain if you haven't already felt the improvement. But on its way to you, Libra, is a greater sense of stability, right? Movement forward and manifesting an improvement, Okay, a lot of you are on your way to an improvement in a situation that you may have been circling for quite a while in your mind, right? Or in your heart, or both. Um, when it comes to how you see this person, you may have, because of your state of flux, been kind of in flux with how you were feeling towards another uh, or this connection, and therefore may have been a little bit guarded, Libra. But I feel like this is something that has... In, you've invested yourself into at the end of the day and I feel like you do genuinely want to see movement in the situation because you care <laughs> because you care <laughs> and I feel like you are manifesting movement here in this situation so let's see what is in this person's perception then Libra what are they thinking about king of swords Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, whoa, the Star card. So Libra, this person, um, wow, they thought a lot about what they want, okay? Um, or they're giving a lot of thoughtful consideration to their future right now. Um, they want stability, you know, they... They want that sense of security as well with the connection. I feel like this person ad admires your way of thinking, Libra. They admire that you're always future forward or that you have an open mind or there's something about your mind that they like here, Libra, um, that has them wanting for more is what I heard, okay? <laughs> I, I just feel like this person they're really looking forward to something. I just keep hearing that. They're really looking forward to something with you. Um, some of them, it's a life. Some of, some of you are connecting with someone either you're already committed to or that is really looking forward to having a life with you or having the ability to create something with you or to share in life with you, okay? So I feel this is a very pure intention showing up, Libra. Um, and how this person is perceiving you or the connection. And they're very, very clear about what it is that they're hoping for at this moment, right? Where again, when I compare it to your energy, I, I feel a little more uncertainty on your side than this person. So they seem to be, like I said, coming out of this energy, this, this dense, darker energy a lot I don't want to say a lot faster, but at a, yeah, a little bit faster than you are. Why do I keep tripping over my words every time I try to talk about that? <laughs> so frustrating. All right. So, oh my gosh, as I'm talking about you being, you being frustrated, I'm getting frustrated. Um, I'm a little too energetically feeling this reading. <laughs> But I just knew I had to do this reading today. I just knew I had to do Libra today. Like, y'all were the first thing on my mind when I woke up. So, 
I, I'm here for a purpose, right? Okay, so um, in the heart space, Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Wow, Libra. Okay, so in your heart space here, if I can move my cards. You've done a lot of work on yourself, Libra, and it's time. Okay. Uh, to reap the reward. But at the same time I heard reap the reward, I also got the message pay the piper. So I guess... <laughs> I guess it depends on where you're at energetically right now. Like if you have been giving of yourself Libra, then this is the time frame where you're going to receive something in return from the universe, right? If you've been on the other side of that and you've been one that has been more so taking, then this would be the opportunity or the universe is going to use October to put you in a situation where you are now the giver. And uh, I hope that's making sense to you. So <laughs> like the universe is always forever switching up the situation to bring balance and karma. So you're always going to be a giver at times and sometimes a taker and there's no nothing wrong with either of those roles. So don't feel like that you done anything bad if it's your turn to give. Um, sometimes it's good to be on the giving end. Sometimes when we're the ones giving, that means our energy is stable enough to give, right? Sometimes when it's our turn to receive, it's a nice relief from the universe. So I feel like either way, this is going to benefit you. So I don't mean it to sound like some of you might have a better October than other of you. I feel like you're going to get exactly what you need spiritually and karmically speaking in October. But there is balance being brought, okay, to the Libra energy during your birthday season. And um, it's something to look forward to. So they keep giving me that phrase, something to look forward to. There's something to look forward to in October. And obviously, I mean, you have the card of satisfaction and abundance showing up in your heart chakra. Okay, so, and this is all earth energy, well, mostly earth energy. So that's talking about you feeling grounded again, finally getting out of your head, out of your emotions, finding your balance, um, receiving a little bit more stability in your life. And then, as I said, a lot of you reaping some sort of reward here, okay, that I feel like is going to be very satisfying to you. Um, when it comes to this relationship or like commitments in general, I feel like if it doesn't satisfy you, then it's not lined up for you. Okay. So how will you know if this is the one or this is the connection or you're in the right place at the right time? It will feel satisfying to you. When you think about it, it will feel satisfying to you. Right. And if it doesn't feel satisfying to you then that's something to rethink about, okay, as we go into November. So they're also giving me the word recalibration. So this might be a time period where you're recalibrating your own karmic scales, right? Um, recalibrating your own energy levels. So let's see what's going on in this person's heart space, the Three of Swords. Ooh, let's see that one flip, the Knight of Cups. This is interesting. The devil. Ooh, the tower. Holy cow. Wow, they have some major arcana here. Let me, um, let me get one on the tower. The hierophant. So I feel like this person wants to pull the blindfold off of your eyes, Libra. <laughs> I mean, figuratively speaking. I feel like... There's some sort of shake up here in this person's energy. Um, I 
Okay, sorry, I just got another message. This person is obsessed with trying to make you see, like, the truth of something or they're very fixated on making you see something. They want you to see something the way that they see it. And they're giving me a song. Um, what that woman's been doing to me. Can't you see? Oh, can't you see? What that woman's been doing to me. <laughs> Woman, man, I don't care. It's a general reading. Like, um, I don't mean to keep pausing, but I want to make sure I get the message right here. They feel like you can't, you don't see it the way that they see it. They feel like if you could just see how I really feel or how I see it, then that would remove some uncertainty or some bad feelings or something. Um, they don't want you to doubt how you feel towards them, Libra. Um, even though, see, they don't want you to doubt, but I do feel like this person has their own fears and doubts that they're battling with. Um, And yet, like, their desire for the connection supersedes any of that doubt or fear. It's almost like this person wants you to see that they have doubts, too. Like, they have things that they have to work on, too. But they're willing to overcome it. You know what I mean? Like, they're willing because they trust in what they feel and they've lined up with it. They're willing to go through those obstacles where I feel... <laughs> Like maybe they feel also that that you haven't lined up with it. So if you have been back and forth or you have been doubting or uncertain, I feel like this person senses that, um, or maybe they're aware of that, and they and they really want you to see it through their eyes, which is impossible, right? Because we always carry our own bias. But I feel like it frustrates this person that you still have doubts or that they, they sense that you have some sort of doubt here. I also feel like this is someone who tends to get really, really fixated and maybe even a little pushy when it's something that they really want or that they believe in, but it's because they believe in it. <laughs> This person might have been sent uh, to you, Libra, in your life to help you better discern um, when to make a decision and line up with it and not to go back and forth, not to not to regress or second guess or question yourself. Like this person could be someone who encourages you to go for it or take the approach that they would take because with this person knows what they want they're fixated on it no matter what no matter what they don't waver it's very interesting so and don't get me wrong if that benefits this person and it could benefit you but there's pros and cons look at my libra moon coming out right there i was about to tell you the pros and cons of that <laughs> Can't get away from the Libra balancing it out energy. I was going to say like that works for this person, but it could also, they could push for things that really aren't for their highest good. But then I realized, wow, the irony of me just trying to weigh that out after I'm sitting here telling you Libra that that's that is a gift to you, but it's also a hindrance, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know why my Libra moon is superseding my Aquarius sun right now, but it really is, guys. 
I guess because it's Libra season. Anyways, going into the future energy, the Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. And keep in mind, all the future energy can be changed with free will. You're in the driver's seat, nobody else. Eight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Wands. So Libra, things are steadily getting ready to move forward as you get more steady in where you're at. So like I said, I do feel like this second guessing or going back, you know, feeling like you're chasing your tail type of energy is leaving you, right? Um, especially as this Mercury retrograde ends and your birthday season comes into full swing. And then you go into manifestation mode and then you bring in this more stable certain energy um, that feels satisfying to you. And from that place of satisfaction, Libra, you now manifest an improvement. There's an improvement coming through because you're finally letting go of something that you've been circling the drain on and getting more stable. And that stability is bringing about improvement upon improvement upon improvement. I feel like October is going to blow your mind. It's going to feel so much better than September. I, I really feel like things lifting off for you and they're showing me stair steps, um, but consistent like improvement in the energy, right? So there's reasons to celebrate, okay? There is new potentials here. There's an opportunity to express yourself in love and also to learn some things that, um, well, learning new things always, but being able to proactively spend more time doing the things that please you. They're saying quality time. You'll have more quality time. All right. And action, but like fun action, not like obligatory. I have to do this. I have to be there. Like fun. Yay. <laughs> Because what you've been through up until now, not so fun, right? Um, so I feel like I keep hearing action, action, action. A lot of action and movement coming through, particularly towards, uh, particularly, why would I say that like that? <laughs> particularly, whatever. Especially towards the end of October, okay? Uh, especially towards the end of October. All right, so person you're connecting with <laughs> and they're also giving me the song this girl is on fire this girl is on fire mm -hmm. okay so this person is going into the five of pentacles six of swords and the sun and the nine of swords so this is interesting. It's like your energy takes an upturn and then you seem to be making improvements and then this person goes on the downturn a little bit. Very interesting. So I, um, I feel like there might be periods of time where this person ends up doubting themselves. It's almost like your energy rubbed off on each other. This is really interesting. It's almost like you're swapping roles here where they start to fear that they're not going to get what they want, that they've been misled, that they might end up alone. Like this person has, well, okay, so they want me to get it correct. So as I said earlier, it's not that this person doesn't battle with their own fears and insecurity. It's that when they believe in something, as they believe in this or as they believe in you, that will supersede the fears or tends to supersede the fear. But I do feel like sometimes it gets the best of them. So I feel like this person is a very determined person, but sometimes they do push themselves too hard. Well, see, that's what I was saying earlier about the... <laughs> that sometimes going hard for what you want, no matter what, has a, can backfire. See, I started to evaluate in Libra 
of analyze this person. <laughs> And then that's the message is sometimes that does backfire because sometimes they don't always give themselves the downtime to carefully consider things or to allow themselves healing and restoration. Sometimes they push themselves past what they're ready for. So, you know, we're always learning new things about ourselves. And that's something that this person is learning on an emotional level to not over exert themselves because they may inadvertently affect their happiness by doing so I need more on this I'm sorry yeah they're learning something about that I don't usually keep clarifying, but I really want to. <laughs> Let's see if I can get anything else on that. Yeah, they're learning some sort of lesson here, and they're getting answers. They're getting clarity. The solution is coming, but <laughs> I heard they talk a big game, but they have their own struggles, too. Okay, so this person might be someone, too, who's like who's very direct or very like, yeah, you go for what you want and maybe they want to, they want you to see things from their perspective and they do practice what they preach. Some most of the time they're saying, but sometimes, you know, this person is giving advice that they don't always take. Right. And then getting into their insecurities, getting into their doubts, getting into their fears um, but I will feel like this person, I do feel like this person will rise above that and there will be clarity coming in and a sense of deeper connection actually coming through as well between the two of you. Or feeling more connected. Oh, okay. So it's all about understanding each other. You know, sometimes we go through like misunderstandings or curveballs so that we can come back around and see each other through a different lens, through a different perspective, through a greater level of understanding. And I feel like that's what's happened here. So let's see. Libra. Okay, am I tripping or did a card pop out? <laughs> oh my gosh, it went all the way over there. I was like, I swear I saw a card come out. Okay. So this says caregiver. We're with you, and spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives. Just as you received love and care at the start of your life, this may be a time to be a caregiver. Isn't that interesting? Because I was talking about giving and receiving. Some of you may actually be caregivers. I know a Libra that's a caregiver. And uh, this may be your time to receive and or give if someone needs it. This person has self-sabotage. When you learn to get out of your own way, there'll be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your goals. It's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. This person is being encouraged not to self-sabotage, um, which is what I kind of just talked about towards the end of the reading. So sound advice for them as well. All right. So Libra, wow, very interesting reading. I knew it would be, um, but take from it what you will, uh, zodiac signs that you could be dealing with or in your own birth chart or the chart of the person you're connecting to. I have Leo here. I have Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Sagittarius, Cancerian energy and Gemini energy. Those are the predominant and Sagittarius, if I didn't say that. Those are the predominant signs I'm seeing, but keep in mind it's a general reading, so it can be any zodiac sign. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it did resonate, please do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff as I do have videos and events. I'll be hosting an event in October. Don't miss out. All of that linked in the description box below as well as in the about section of my YouTube where you can also find the donation link. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can do so there. Otherwise, I'm wishing you the very, very best. And until next time, my friends.
bye